Hey boys and girls, it's your favorite guy, the science machine. And you know what time it is. It's time to sting with the science machine. Now, let's get started. We got an easy, easy peasy supply list today. All you need is some balloons and you need a skewer. Say skewer. S-K-E-W-E-R. Skewer. Most people use these when they're cooking and they'll take some meat and vegetables and they'll cut them up and stick it right on there and then they'll put it on the barbecue grill and when it's done cooking, mm, eat it right off the stick. It's called a kebab. Say kebab. But we're not cooking. We're doing science. So what we're going to do, we're going to blow up the balloon and we're going to stick the skewer straight through the balloon without the balloon popping. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Now, first thing we gotta do, blow up the balloon. Perfect. Now, tie a knot. All right, now, I have to show you a couple of things. You see right here on the end of the balloon? The balloon is made of rubber. Say rubber. Good. And when you blow the balloon up, the rubber begins to stretch. And the part that's being stretched the most is this light part right here around the middle. But the reason that it's darker at the ends, there's more rubber at the ends of the balloon than there is around the middle. That's why the middle's lighter. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take our skewer and we're going to stick it straight through and we're going through this end right here. Always start at this end, boys and girls, and we're gonna stick it straight through. Are you ready? I'm ready. So here we go. One, two, three. And you wanna go nice and slow, nice and slow. Hold on, let me. Let me readjust it. Let me get a better handle. There we go. Okay, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. All right, we're inside, boys and girls. And we're going up to the top. And we're coming all There it is. All right, we're going to stick it out right there. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Here it goes. Boom! Get on through there. Whoa! Did you see that? And the reason we were able to stick it all the way through is because there's more rubber at the ends of the balloon than there is around the middle. If we had stuck it in the middle, what would have happened? It would have popped. So, and if I pull it out, the air comes out very slowly because there's a hole here and there's a hole here on the bottom. And that's kind of awesome. I'll, I'll see you around for the next episode of It's Time to Steam with the Science Machine. <laughs> hey, Junior Science Machines, we're back. We're back for another episode of It's Time to Steam with the Science Machine. We got some awesome gravity experiments that we're going to do right now. So here we go. All you need, check this out. You need a cup. You need some water. I'm gonna put it back down here. And you also need like a, this is a little piece of plexiglass. I got it at the hardware store. And then I had them drill four holes in the corner. And then I got four pieces of string and I tied them all down at the bottom and I tied them all up at the top. So this is called Newton's tray. Say Newton's tray, junior science machines. Excellent. I named it after a famous scientist. Anyone know his name? Isaac Newton. Exactly. Now, I'm going to take my cup, place it in the center of the tray. And what I'm going to do next is spin the tray in a circle and see if we can keep the cup from falling off the tray. But just to make it interesting, we're going to add some water to the cup. So we'll pour that on in there. Excellent! And 
Just so you know that the water's still in there. Mm. You're welcome. <laughs> so, we'll put that right in the center of the cup and we're gonna spin it in a circle and see if we can keep the water from coming out the cup. Are you ready? Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, <gasps> Let me put on my goggles just in case. <laughs> okay. One, two, here we go. Three. Wow! <laughs> and the water's not even coming out. You know why? This is why. The same way when you jump up in the air, gravity pulls you to the ground. Well, when you spin something in a circle, like this tray, gravity pushes down on the tray right in the center of the tray. And so what's in the middle of the tray, Junior Science Machines? The cup. And what's inside the cup? The water. And so the water's being pushed into the cup. The cup is being pushed into the tray. And the only way it'll come out is if I spin it real slow. But I'm a professional. So here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> and then you just take it. Mm. You're welcome. <laughs> Newton's tray. I'll see you later, junior science machines. Go out and practice with your gravity. <laughs>